Hi guys, my name is Adam and I'm here with Love Crafts. We're going to be looking at top 10 embroidery stitches in this video and by the time you've finished you should have all the skills that you need to jump into your first embroidery project. Okay, so the next stitch we're going to be looking at is a fly stitch. I have my needle threaded with three strands of the stranded cotton and we're going to take my air erasable pen and just like I did for the Lazy Daisy, I'm going to put three small lines just as a guide for myself. Okay, so I have my three lines as a guide for my fly stitch. And I want to take the needle to the left of the line where the stitch is going to sit. I want to bring it up and if we just take a thumb and just gently hold the thread to the bottom we want to then go down on the right hand side of the line like that and you're holding your thread just loosely like that and then you come up almost in a triangular shape between the three points and as you pull it gently let it just come to sit in a V shape. You want to then go down just underneath to anchor your thread and it gives you a nice V shape and a fly stitch can be very useful for foliage on patterns especially. Um, again we've come up to the left we just hold the thread to the side and go back down on the right hand side and in a triangular shape just come up underneath the stitch as you gently pull release that and let it come to sit in a nice V and then our anchor just goes to the bottom so you don't want to pull too tight again with these stitches but they'll sit nice and flat which you've moved on to the next bit. So we're holding our thread to the bottom, going back down and coming up in a triangular shape. Now your anchor stitch can be as large or as short as you would like it to be. It varies on fly stitch. It makes no difference to the finish of the stitch but it can give different shapes. So you would sometimes be able to use I'll do another fly stitch. So again, we're coming down, going back in the right hand side. And we're gonna come up just in the middle of the previous one to give it another nice neat line. And you want to pull just gently like that and this stitch can be used for trees and foliage on plants and the more that you build up and layer them the more effective they can be but we have three fly stitches mm -hmm. 